I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Welcome to the Black Excellence and Abundance Channel. What would the world be like without black inventors? It's hard to say who invented the internet. There are many mathematicians and scientists who contributed to its development. Computers were sending signals to each other as early as the 1950s, but the web owes much of its existence to Philip Imaglue, a math whiz who came up with the formula to allow a large number of computers to communicate at once. Emigwe was born to a poor family in Akuri, Nigeria in 1954. Philip grew up in the commercial city of Onitsha in southeastern Nigeria, where his father was a nurse. At school, he was so bright, he was able to answer questions before his school friends had even written the questions down. Teachers and classmates, amazed at his extraordinary ability, called him calculus because he was so good at calculating or working out sums. But others were jealous and accused him of using magical powers in his mathematics examinations. Some of them didn't even know my real name, he laughs. To this day, if I hear someone call me calculus, I know without looking it's an old friend from home. By the time Philip got to standard, four teachers and classmates considered him a math wizard who could solve advanced problems in geometry, trigonometry, and algebra. My classmates would introduce me to their friends as a math genius, and my teacher spoke to me as the young Chekobi, a mathematical genius who made a name for himself in Nigeria. One day, Philip's math teacher stood at the front of the class staring at the blackboard, unsure how to solve a difficult problem. Philip walked forward, grabbed the piece of chalk from the teacher's hand, and wrote the answer on the blackboard. But there were times when Philip's genius worked against him. In 1965, at the age of 10, he was accused of cheating in a mathematics entrance examination to St. George's Grammar School and denied admission. The reason? He finished the one-hour examination in five minutes and scored a 100%, while the next high score was 57%. The school did not believe that a 10-year-old was capable of such a feat. That is simply legendary. As a young man, he earned a general education certificate from the University of London and later degrees from George Washington University and the University of Maryland, as well as a doctoral fellowship from the University of Michigan. At Michigan, he participated in the scientific community's debate on how to simulate the detection of oil reservoirs using a supercomputer. Growing up in an oil-rich nation and understanding how oil is drilled Emigliwe decided to use this problem as the subject of his doctoral dissertation. Borrowing an idea from a science fiction story about predicting the weather, Emigliwe decided that rather than use eight expensive supercomputers, he would employ thousands of microprocessors to do the computation. Emigliwe received a claim based at least on part on his study of nature, especially bees. He saw an inherent efficiency in the way bees construct and work with honeycomb, and he determined that computers that emulate this process could be more efficient and powerful. In 1989, emulating the bees' honeycomb construction, Emigliwe used 65,000 processors to invent the world's fastest computer, 
which performs computations at 3.1 billion calculations per second, thus revolutionizing the world of computers and ushering in the World Wide Web, known as the Internet today. Philip has received dozens of awards for his pioneering work, including Africa's largest scholarly prize, the Nigeria Prize, the National Society of Black Engineers in the United States. He has also received the Nigerian Achiever of the Year, Distinguished Scientist Award by the National Society of Black Engineers in America, Distinguished Eagle Achievement, and Distinguished Visitor Award. Also among his list of achievements is the National Technical Association, which placed him among America's top six scientists. He was awarded the title Pioneer of the Year. He was voted Scientist of the Year. He has also been voted Africa's Best Scientist, America's Best and Brightest Inventor, Computer Scientist of the Year by America's National. As you can see, he is a highly decorated award winner. But the crowning glory of Philip's career was the Gordon Bell Prize presented to him by the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers in 1989. Regarded as the computer world's Nobel Prize, it set him among the ranks of the world's best brains and gave him the recognition his father always knew he deserved. Philip attributes his success to his Igbo background in Southeast Nigeria and a spirit of adventure, qualities he wants to pass on to his young son. Igbo are the biblical Hebrews whose ancestors were shipped to America during the transatlantic slave trade. Imigluwe says, My son is going to encounter racism in the U.S., which will deny him the opportunity to contribute as much as he can to society. I want him to be inspired by the fact that that I was a high school dropout, an ex-refugee who overcame racism and made scientific contributions that benefited mankind. Throughout his career, Philip was a workhorse, working 13-hour days, seven days a week. But his wife, Dale, a professor at Morgan State University in Baltimore, Maryland, didn't mind his long hours as she also had a demanding working week and was voted in 1996 Scientist of the Year by America's National Technical Association. This family man was devoted and committed to his craft, and it paid off for him and for those who he inspired. The internet is something we cannot live without. It is used not only in our phones, but in our homes, our cars, and just about everywhere. Everyone listening to this video has used the internet. And this mathematical genius had a large hand in creating what we know as the World Wide Web, the internet. Mr. Philip Emagluwe. We would like to thank you, brother. Thank you for sharing your genius with the world. The Black Excellence and Abundance Channel, where black history is every day. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, thou art rich.